YouTube and welcome back to Portal. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Impossible test, okay. What makes it... Hang on. If I put... Let's get a... Okay, the vaporizer is a cube. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. We can cheat you, I mean, uh, we get, uh, take us to the poles. Huh. Hmm. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. In the Amish balls, what can I see from there? Walls, walls, doors. Radio. I ain't going. Ah. Uh, Frankly, this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now. But you're not me. <laughs> yeah, it does help if you pop the walls in the right places. No one will blame you for giving up. In fact, quitting at this point is a perfectly reasonable response. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. <laughs> so basically that was a test to see if you could cope with it telling you you can't complete this test. Yes, I've done this test once before, but I wanted to show you what it was. I actually like to try and do that first time. How odd. Lift's usually there when I get there. Oh. Oh, back to loading screen for a little while. What's this? Hello again. To reiterate, previous one was momentum. Momentum. Ah, this is where you introduce the concept of flinging portal in, portal out. So portal in, portal out. See. So if I fall through that one, I'll come through the top one there. Now, this might look familiar to some of you. There's one at the top, the red one's at the top, so we're going to assume that we just got to throw ourselves on the floor and. Uh... Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. And again, we've shown the black you can't portal onto. Now the orange is fixed at the bottom. You might be saying to yourselves, hang about. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Again, because we know we've got the portal down there, we have to put the ball up here. But you're probably thinking to yourself, hang on, Gareth. This looks f far familiar. That's because this is the room where the footage was made. And also, this is the first time you're introduced to another concept as well in the game. You see, you've got one dot there, and two dots up here, and three dots here. Which shows you the stages of where you've got to go to next. So not only is this the room where the credit footage was made, it's also the room where you taught the next stage of puzzles. Hang on, 
one, did I? Hang on, that sounds like the engagement that. center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. ETUs. Okay, there's a button there. I'll go up. I was up over there. So what's over there? Well, I'll just wait for this yellow gun. Oh, this is your yellow pole. This means we'll be actually able to get the yellow pole. Or the orange portal, I should call it, really. Right. We can see what we've got to do. Since the yellow's been rotated round, we had to wait for the yellow pool to be pulled over there. And get on. And see now. <laughs> so basically it's more expensive than anybody else we could ever think of in your hometown. And of course we've shown the pedestal button, which was over there, which has now gone away. For the pedestal button here. And we know that that will open up the door over there, and so we can pop a portal over there, because that will open up, because we can't pop a portal on it. And now we're in control of two portals. We can instantly see where we can't pop portals a lot easier. So now we have got to rely on static portals. We're in control. Get yourself. Fling into something, I suppose. Well, I can only see two walls. Actually get a, can we go? Oh, we can get a pull on there, so I suppose we go and fling ourselves a pull! Okay, and we're here. We're at number two. Alright, so what can we see from two? We can see floor where we got the original portal and another space and we can see that we got to get up there somehow so we do what the woman says we fling ourselves that's opening and closing something that's up there oh I see it's opening and closing thing the oh cube's dropped okay we've got to get that cube so where we get that's handy. So now you see we're at point three. We'll go down to point two. Down to point through the portal and over we go. And now we're at point four. Oh. Put the cube on there to hold the door open for us through the portals. We... Ooh. And as you can see, if you point, point your portal, it 
gun out of the portal, it actually shows you what colour it is on the gun, which is kind of a neat feature. Flinging something is very important to learn. Flinging will come very important later on. Ah, test chamber 13. Unlucky for some. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic sal and adrenaline. This could take some time, apparently. Well, it's obvious what we've got to do first. We've got to get the cube onto the button down here to open the door up there, because otherwise we can't actually get in this room over here. I assume we can pop up the wall, throw so. Um, there's one, one, two buttons in there, so we do need this cube here. Hang on. If I I'll get a cube. A cube and a button. And we go into the other room. Oh Bullet. No a bouncy laser thing. Right. First things first. We need to get the cube from the previous room into this room. Um, yeah, I think that's how you do it. As long as I keep the orange on somewhere I can get to. No. Pulls that up, didn't I? Again. Yeah, so as long as you keep the blue in this room, and we've got both cubes in here. Right. That's bouncing over there. So where's the light? There's the light. So blue there, orange there. So as you see, we saw black, the black markings as before. So we've now got to activate that. Ah, there's the other cube. Right, we've got to get to that cube. So we've got to do what we did in the room where we had the unstationary platform the first time. But this time, since it's moving, it's in the middle of the movement, we've got to just drop down on it, pick up the cube, jump off, and put the cube down. And then we've got the same puzzle as we had in the room with the two buttons before. But this time, you got to put the port, pop the, pop the portals onto. The... Nope, that didn't work. Nope. That's better. Right. Okay. The cube at one. Cube down. So we've got a tick there. Just, just going to repeat that again for Q2. And oh, okay. You just go straight through to the next room. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Apparently I'll be missed when the testing is over. Okay, we'll find out what else is in store for us next time I play Portal. 
Thank you for watching.